Hey guys, <clears throat> this is Colton Tackett on Sonic Boom Film 101. Welcome back to my walkthrough of the Dell Dimension 4600. And, oh my goodness, this is the 20th part. Holy crap. I cannot believe it. We reached 20 parts of this walkthrough. Um, yeah, you know, um, just to let you know, viewers, yesterday when I got done re re recording the audio from the cassette to the computer, the, the audio was a little loud, and it, it was... You know, it's kind of different. So, maybe when I get my portable cassette recorder downstairs into the basement, I'm going to have to try again because it was a little loud that time. So, not to make the cassette player softer. So, for now, we're going to deal with what we're going to do today. So, I'm going to turn the speakers on and turn the computer on. <clears throat> so, yeah, um... Also, just to let you viewers know, when when I get logged on, um, just to let you know, I'm gonna be like, you know, you know um, while this computer logs me on, I'm gonna have to log, I'm gonna like get that same cassette I had to choose yesterday, and I have to and I have to get the portable cassette recorder from my bedroom. So, anyway, it's time to log on. Hopefully it isn't too loud, because, like, I don't really want it so loud, so, let's hope it doesn't play too loud. I just want this to work so well. Besides, uh, I don't really know what to say, but I just want to say that, um, okay. After the Windows XP startup sound, I'm gonna have to, like, go get my portable cassette recorder, and a cassette from my bedroom. So, that's that. So, is the XP starter sound gonna play or what? Oh, excuse me. I never even expected this to happen, but yeah. Two minutes. This video's taking so long. I don't know why. And yeah, not to mention we only have like one more tutorial on Microsoft Money 2004 left. And that's banking online with Microsoft Money. So, you know what? I don't really think I hear it. So, am I hearing it or what? It's, I don't even know if I do. I had, like, the volume at, like, a low setting. But, you know what? I don't even know if I'm hearing it, because I had it at a low setting for some reason. And yeah, I'll be using Audacity, but yeah. Oh, oh yeah, it's logging me on, finally. Sorry if I didn't hear the startup sound, but yeah. Anyway, while it logs me on, I'm going to have to go get my portable cassette recorder and a cassette from my bedroom. I'll be right back. Alright, viewers, I'm back. Uh, had to go to the bathroom to poop after after waiting so long. But anyway, I'm, I'm back. So, now I'm going to need to, like, click start. I'm going to, like, go look for that last Microsoft Money tutorial I was talking about. I wonder where it is, though. My computer, let's go there. So, yeah. I have been like waiting minutes and minutes because what I wanted to do is like, <clears throat> like try to get this portable cassette recorder, this cassette, and this thing right here. But anyway, um, hopefully I'll be able to switch memory I'll be able to switch SD cards with an uh, Vivitar video camera and that Nintendo DSi. But anyway, um, well, anyway, for now we're gonna go into Program Files, Microsoft Money, Media, AV Help, 
And last but not least, we're going to go on to 19 OL, which means you have to bank online with money. Here we go. It, that, that seems a little off. Let me just try to... Let me turn the volume up a bit. I, I don't think I hear it. I don't think I hear anything. Uh... Actually, I think this is good. Let's just do it. This is two minutes. Just to let you know. We got a brochure from our bank today saying they now offer online banking. I'd like to give it a try. Isn't that kind of complicated? Just the opposite. It'll make managing our finances a lot easier. We won't have to type as many entries ourselves, and things can be done automatically for us. Oh, what kind of things? You know, entering transactions, paying bills, balancing accounts. But what about privacy? And is it safe? But doesn't this mean our financial information will be accessible to anyone surfing the web? Absolutely not. Although our information is being transmitted online, we're the only ones who can get to it. Not only do we have our money passport, but we'll have a logon ID and password for each bank or broker we're online with. Okay. Then how do we sign up? Well, because our accounts are already set up in money, we come here to the account setup page, click this link, and go to the online banking services page. I see. Then we click set up online services next to the bank name. We find our bank in this list, and then we can log on to get our information at the bank. But we're stopped here, aren't we? I don't know what to enter. If we don't have the log on information yet, money can help us with that too. This wizard tells us how we go about getting a log on ID from our bank. Then we return here and set up online financial services for this bank. Excellent. Money downloads the information on all our accounts with this bank into our money file. It's very convenient, especially since we have a checking and savings account with them. So this sets up online services for both accounts at once. And if some of these accounts aren't created in money yet, money will create them for us if we like. This is so easy. We barely have to lift a finger. Now, now that we're set up, we can download transactions. Isn't that basically our bank statement sent to us electronically? Right. As soon as a check clears the bank, or we make a deposit, or transfer funds between accounts, the transaction can be brought into our money file. Where does it go? Straight into the account register. You mean it'll enter the transactions in our account register without our having to type it in? That's right. Wow, that's a huge time saver. And we don't have to call or wait for our monthly statement to find out about our transactions. Or about our account balance or interest either. Many banks offer what's called direct or background banking. This means that when we're signed into money and connected to the internet, money can directly communicate with our bank and bring in our transactions. You mean money automatically requests that our transactions be downloaded? While we work on something else. Incredible. How often will it do this? As often as we tell it. It could be once per session, once a week, once a month, whenever we want. Let's set it to five downloads a month. Our bank gives us that many for free. We can customize our settings for background banking any way we like. Some banks don't offer background banking yet. Instead, they might offer what's called web banking. We can log on to the bank's website. I see. We log on and then request that our transactions be downloaded. And there they are. So easy and fast. Once an online statement is downloaded, we can go to the account register and verify the transactions. And look, they're easy to find because they show up bold in the register. What's this symbol for? It means we entered a transaction ourselves, and money has matched it with a downloaded one. Clever. That also means, then, that any bold transactions without the symbol are new transactions added to our account register. Right. And the E in the cleared column means that this transaction is electronically downloaded, so we know it's cleared the bank. So we scroll through the account register, looking for bold transactions. When we're sure that a transaction is correct, we accept it. As soon as we accept it, the transaction is no longer bold. We can even accept all the transactions if we feel we don't need to review them. You got it, especially if we know our balance is exactly right. It's great having the convenience of online banking without sacrificing any of our privacy or security. I agree, and our personal finances become even more automated and manageable than ever before.
Okay, I think that's all the tutorials we have. So anyway, um, it's been 10 minutes. But still, now that we got that taken care of, it's time to do something about the cassette tape. Um, I muted the cassette recorder, so that way... Oh, oops. Okay. Plug this in. I'm going to plug it into the earphone part. Then we're going to, like, plug it in to a... To the blue line in port so i'm gonna get that ready so that way i'll be able to record the cassette to the computer oh let's put this line in part in here there we go i plugged it in so so yeah i plugged it in so that way I'll be able to record them. Speaking of recording, I'm going to go into the My Computer thing. I'm going to look for my documents. I'm going to click My Documents instead because... All right. There's Audacity. Click on that. Now we're going to click Audacity. And like I said, we're going to have like the cassette recorder at like a low volume because last time when I recorded Side 2... The sound quality was like pretty too high. It, the, the, the sound volume was way too high. So that's why. Wait, is Audacity opening or not? Like, I don't even know. If it is, um, I believe it might be doing good. All right, there's Audacity right now. I'm gonna turn the volume up a bit because, all right. So yeah, we got Audacity in. So now we're gonna need to see if we can open it. Okay. It's opening up right now. Now we're going to click OK. We just need it mono, I think. I don't know. And why are there like two of them? See, there's a line in right here. We set that one up already. So. Yeah, now we're going to get this cassette in. I'm going to open it. Click stop eject. Okay. Now we're going to get this in. We're going to try side one this time because side two is a failure. But we'll try side two next time, I hope. But anyway, side one. Like we said, this tape has some r recording it had some recorded stuff on it. So, gotta get this cassette ready. Gotta put it in. I need it turned up a little bit because I don't want it too loud. And for side one of the tape, we already read things about side two, which the songs are Dr. Looney's Remedies, How Soon Is Now, Big Stinky Feet, the duck songs one and two and three, wiggle jiggle and dumb ways to die, uh, dumb ways to fail, which is a failure. And yeah, side one has every breath you take, piano man, stinky feet, meek for a week, you lost it, love and feeling, Judy in disguise, and amazing grace interlude, which reminds me of Darius Rucker. But anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna record, I'm gonna click record first. Now we're gonna click on play. Hopefully it's not too loud. Oh, it's working this time. It's not too loud. It's working that time. It's not too loud. So? I'll be recording this. Uh, I'll be recording the audio from the tape to the computer at this point because I got it right this time. So, thanks for watching. Like I said, I'm not going to shut down the computer in this part because I'm trying to record this tape to the computer. This is Colton Tackett on Sonic Boom Fan 101 signing off. Bye-bye. See you next time.